person waved. One person waved back to me. Wonderful. You all look amazing. Yeah, take it. You've earned it. I mean, this bit's got to be weird, though. Is this weird for you down here? Like, if I do that, is that weird? Look, you get to the end of the night, people will say, how's the comedy? It was great. Awesome. <laughs> Are you there? No, awesome. It was great. <laughs> Had a ball. It's not uncomfortable? Is that uncomfortable? How about now? <laughs> How about now? About now? Uncomfortable now? It's uncomfortable now? Should be. I took my pants off while I was back there. Um, and then great, because if I got here, you can stare right across and make eyes at the lady lady there. So I'll do you a favor and you can do a bit of... <laughs> Am I the only person who does that? <laughs> Do you know what that, the... Okay, right. So that's me trying to do a sexy 70s bass guitar. You know the one, the bow, wah, whack, whack, ba, bow, wah, whack? No, you're all sitting there going, what? It's, sounds like you're flicking a duck in your pocket. What is that? <laughs> whack, whack, bow, whack, whack, whack. Is that a duck in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it is a duck. It's actually a duck. Hides my erection. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? This is... What am... Anyway. Um, but the reason I, I did that is uh, because we all know, like, that's the sexy sound, right? The 70s bass guitar. That's the sexy sound. And we know that because that's the only instrument they've used in any porn film ever made. I can't believe you acknowledge that. I expected every man to be, I don't know what he's talking. Oh, there you are. I have no idea. Um, yeah, the, the 70s bass guitar, the only instrument you ever hear in any porn film. Although I have to wonder, did they ever try other instruments first? You know, like, hey, baby, I've come to clean the pool. <laughs> Which of you ladies ordered the hot pizza? <laughs> sex. <laughs> Hashtag pizza sex. And I don't know, like maybe they did the research, you know? Maybe they did do the research. And maybe the 70s bass guitar is the sexiest instrument on the face of the earth. But if that's the case, then why, when we were all in school as kids, were we taught the bloody recorder! <laughs> you had that too, right? The recorder? What would the... Huh? The recorder never came in handy for me. Going through my awkward teen years, inviting the young ladies over after school. Come on in, yeah, come in, come in. Bit further, his neck, come on. Uh, come on in, yeah, so um, sit yourself down, get comfortable. I will put on some music to get us in the mood. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Come back, I love you. And I think that's why it messed me up from such a young age. Like, I don't know what sexy is anymore because of that. Like, I'm, I have to say, I must have missed the meeting when we all decided that vampires are sex symbols. <laughs> when did that happen? You know, because thanks to things like True Blood, uh, The Vampire Diaries, other examples, Vampires are the new whatever it was we all wanted to nail previously. But it's getting out of control. I switched onto Sesame Street the other day and the Count was working on his abs. At <laughs> Grover gripping his ankles and he's like, one, one sit up, two, two sit ups, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Clap it up, that's the best Count impression you'll hear tonight, come on. <laughs> So, uh, what I thought I would do is do a bit more research on the sexy vampires. And I went straight to the source, Montreal. Yes! I read the Twilight Saga. 
<laughs> do not applaud that. If you have not read the Twilight Saga, do not worry, for I have done it. You do not have to. I have taken the proverbial bullet, or in this case, the stake to the heart. Let me bring you up to speed. If you haven't read Twilight, here's basically how it works. The main vampire in Twilight, I think his name's Doug. <laughs> All you need to know is he's gorgeous. Not only that, he is awesome at baseball. He can piggyback you uphill super fast. And if you're having a party, invite him over and string him to the ceiling, because when the sunlight hits him, the cat lights up like a mirror ball. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to the end of the first Twilight novel, and I am not ashamed to tell you, I started to fall for Doug the Vampire. It was like I'd been glamoured from the pages. I was sitting there going, I wouldn't mind being impaled by Vlad myself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> sex, I mean sex. Hashtag vampire sex. I jump straight into the second book, New Moon. Do you know what Doug the Sexy Vampire does? within the first couple of chapters of the second book. He makes a mixed tape for his girlfriend's birthday. <gasps> OMG. <laughs> How dreamy is Doug the Vampire? He's like sexy, but he's also very sensitive. He's like Hugh Jackman. <laughs> if Hugh Jackman fed off the blood of mortals. And who's to say he can't? He's a very talented man. But no sooner has Doug weaved his mixtape magic than along comes this werewolf, Phil, who, spoiler alert, is also hot. He comes in, he starts hitting on Doug's girlfriend while Doug's away. But then Phil starts getting all werewolfy and then he leaves because he's like, oh, boo hoo, I might take you on a moonlit stroll, wig out and eat a baby's face off. And the whole time I'm reading this and I'm going, hey buddy, when I was in my teens, I started getting hair in weird places on my body, but didn't hear me going on about it. <laughs> so he takes off, vampire's gone, girl's left by herself. <gasps> what is she gonna do? The big decision, heart broken in two. Which way will it take her? Will it be vampire, werewolf, team Doug, team Phil? What's she gonna do? Where will her heart take her? What decisions will she make? And then I had to put the book down and stop reading because I got my period. Thank you very much, Montreal. I'm Rogue McManus. Say hi to your mum for me. There, there appears to be a small dinosaur <laughs> in my room. And the guy said, ah, yeah, mate, yeah, that's a gecko. And he hung up. <laughs> my girlfriend's pregnant and we're very excited about it and that's exactly how you have to say it.